here are our top kitchen design tips. These will guarantee you function in your kitchen remodel. Stick around to the very end and you will find out how you can win a free kitchen design session with me. I can take a deep dive into your project and give you tips and tricks and insights on your project, answer any kind of questions you have. And before we dive in, my name is Kasten with The Material Bar here in Washington, your kitchen and bath showroom. And um, without any further ado, let's get started. I wanna keep this video quick and short and come to the point. But overall, let's think about the kitchen space. Like in reality, it's made to prep, it's made to function. We spend a lot of time and energy on the look and we go on Pinterest and we search for the look and the design. But when it comes to the design, we actually really want to hone in and focus on the functionality of the space. So there's a couple of standards that we adhere by as kitchen and bath designers. And those are coming from the National Kitchen and Bath Association, okay? So we have um, a couple of different words that I'm gonna be referenced, referencing to. And you might know building standards, okay? And when we think about a building standard in our industry, a lot of times we think about, oh, the building standard for a walkway is 36 inches. But according to the National Kitchen and Bath Association that spent a ton of time and money and research on this, they have their own standards that are a little bit more functional and a little bit more realistic. They're always going to hit your basic building code, your building standard, but they're going to be more functional. Okay, So those are the kind of standards that I want to talk about. And if you follow those, you're guaranteed a functional kitchen that will work for you. All right, so number one, let's talk about the kitchen triangle. You probably heard about the kitchen triangle quite a bit. And uh, we have an image here. It's basically three legs in a triangle, which kind of describes if your kitchen has three work zones, how to connect them correctly. And the correct way to use a kitchen triangle is basically calculating the, the distance between your work stations from the front of the appliance, for example. And you wanna make sure that None of your triangle legs are shorter than four feet, but you also want to make sure that you don't have a leg that is longer than nine feet. And if you were to calculate all of these triangle legs together, you do not want to exceed 26 feet. Nowadays, we have a lot of kitchens with islands and it might very possibly happen that your triangle leg is going to run into an island. And if that happens, just try to place it in a way that it doesn't interfere with your obstacle by more than 12 inches. And we do have bigger kitchens these days. So if you have more than three workstations and we're talking about your sink prepping station, your cooking station, right? So if you have more than three stations, if you're introducing another station, just make sure that the distance to the, the other station is not less than four feet. All right. The next standard we want to talk about, walkways. And this is the perfect example. I've already touched base on it. Your building code tells you 36 inches is a sufficient walkway. That's great for a hallway. But in all reality, in a kitchen, you need to move. You need to open things. You have to grab things and turn around. According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, if you are working in a single butt kitchen, you want to focus on at least 42 inches of walkway space. And if you have another cook in the kitchen, you know, at least two or more, or think about large dogs, kiddos running around, things like that, you actually want to plan for 48 inches. The next standard that will guarantee you functionality in your kitchen design, clearance behind seating areas. Let's just say you have an island and it kind of butts up to be very close to a wall, okay? If that wall section, if that is not a direct walkway and you don't have to worry about a lot of people passing right here, just make sure that from the overhang to the wall, you have a clearance of 32 inches. And that will be sufficient for somebody to sit and somebody to kind of just get by for the seating area. Now, if you have a walkway, but it's more of a passive walkway, it's not a main walkway in the home, clear 36 inches so somebody can like scoot by. And if you have a seating area that is positioned by a real walkway, that is a main walkway in your home, for example, you have your kitchen and you have a kind of a main walkway and then you have your dining or your living room set up, 
just make sure that you're clearing 48 inches. Um, it actually says 44 inches. I typically just say three feet and four feet. So if you're clearing 48 inches from the countertop to the next object, you are good to go. This is a very popular one and I get it asked a lot, seating overhangs. So when you're talking about a raised bar, typically you will have overhangs anywhere from nine to 12 inches. And the nine inches actually come a little bit from the natural stone market because nine inches was the max that we could have natural stone overhangs. So we have nine inches to 12 inches. But nowadays we have a lot of people preferring single level islands and overhangs. So if you're going that route, we see a lot of 12 inch overhangs, which can still be done without any additional uh, countertop support underneath. But if you're going above that, you want to check with your manufacturer and your fabricator for the material, how much um, support you need to add. And typically if you go with a 15 inch overhang, it's very, very comfortable for seating. This is a big one. Let's talk about landing areas. And if you can check the boxes on having these kind of landing areas in your kitchen, a functional space. So number one, around the sink. When you have a sink, this is your prep station. It's your washing station. You are at your sink all the time. Make sure that you have at least 24 inches of clearance of countertop on one side and another at least 18 inches on the other side. Typically it's done really easy because you have a 24 inch dishwasher on one or the other side, okay? But if you have those in place, you're good to go. And additionally, if you can actually turn one of those sides into a full 36 inch clearance of countertop, that is an amazing prep station. Let's talk about refrigerator landing areas. I've had many kitchens that I went into and helped the homeowners remodel, help their clients to re-noodle the layout to, to get it to be more functional. And I see a lot of these single refrigerator sections just kind of far off by themselves. But in reality, a refrigerator should have at least a 15 inch landing countertop area, okay? And preferably on the handle side, because if my handle is right here, I'm opening it this way, I'm grabbing something, I'm dropping it, okay? If I have a complete tall wall, let's say tall appliances, I don't have a landing area right here. You can have your landing area, let's say across the walkway on the island or the other side of the kitchen. Just make sure that your distance is not more than 48 inches from the front of your appliance. And the landing area that we just discussed for the refrigerator is basically the exact same thing for your oven. Do not forget to incorporate a landing area of, of clear countertop space for your oven. You're opening your oven, you're taking hot items out, you need to land them somewhere. In European design, you see a lot of shorter heights and a lot of people actually open the oven, they take out what they have and they sit it above the oven. Okay, and I will have another video for you in the next couple of days. We're, we're actually working on a complete series um, that will talk a lot about different heights in um, European design and how you can incorporate it in your um, next kitchen remodel. And then we have another really, really important landing area that you need to incorporate, which is around your cooking station. Let's say you have a range or you have a cooking, let's say a cooktop, for example. You want to make sure you have at least 12 inches on one side and 15 inches of prep space on the other side. Now, if your range or your cooktop is in the island, please make sure you have nine inches that clear the space behind it for, honestly, for safety. You know, if you're cooking hot water, you've got a lot of, um, you know, or hot items, things like that, and you maybe have kids sitting there doing homework, you really want to have that clearance for safety. So don't forget about, the, about those landing spaces. And another really important standard and just a little bit of a tip on microwave placement, and I think this will be a whole nother video in the future as well. Microwave placements, they're kind of custom. There's a lot of different ways that you can place a microwave, but if you place a microwave kind of on eye level and you want to incorporate into a wall unit or you want to incorporate into a tall unit, you typically go and measure the user. You want to sit it three inches below your shoulder but not any lower than 54 inches from the floor. Okay, and here is my bonus to you guys. If you are currently working on your design, you're like exploring design trends and you're trying to figure out how to plan your remodel and you're not quite sure who to call and how to go about it, okay? We're building a community and the community is 100% free. We have the link below for you, join us. It's gonna be a very, 
tight-knit community. We're going to give you all the input on kitchen tips and tricks. And on top of that, I actually pick a winner every single month and you get a free kind of design consult with me. I deep dive into your project. You get to ask me all the questions and just give you my input on your project, okay? So if that sounds like something you could benefit from, again, 100% free. Check out the link below, sign up to our community and um, check back on our next video. Thank you so much for watching.